What is going on guys? Benny K here. I'm going to be doing a review on these awesome headphones today, so stay tuned and check it out. Alright guys, so let's go over a couple of the technical specs of the HD 598CSs. So the impedance here is 23 ohms, so that's perfect to drive from your phone. Uh, it does have two different connectors because you get two different cables with it. Uh, you get a 3.5 millimeter straight plug and a 6.3 millimeter straight plug as well. And then the frequency response is 10 to 28,000 hertz. Uh, you do have a sound pressure level of 115 dB per kilohertz, and then you do have a total harmonic distortion of less than 0.2% in 1 kilohertz. And then the air coupling is a circumneural, so it does go around the ear, so over the ear headphones, that's what these are. And then you do get two cables, like I said earlier, you get one that's 1.2 meters, and then another one that's three meters. Uh, the three meter one is made more for at home use. If you have like a DAC at home and then, and that has a quarter inch plug. And then the 1.25 millimeter has a 3.5 millimeter plug for your phone, as well as a in button volume and pause. And then the dynamic transducer. All right, guys, so these headphones, they do have velour ear pads, so, and they are replaceable. As you can see here, you can just pop them off and they just have a little plastic ring around them. And then they're just as easy to pop back on. Uh, being that they are soft and velour, they're, they don't get hot over long periods of time. Uh, I did you have gamed with these for like three to four hours at a time, as well as taking them and wearing them to the gym. So in terms of getting too hot or fatigue from your ears, there's no issue here. As you guys can tell here, next shot, they do have a decent amount of articulation uh, going side to side about an uh, inch or so. And then the headband is very adjustable in terms of if you have a huge head or not. I have a pretty big head, but I only have to go about four clicks down. And these are lightweight. Uh, they are mostly made of plastic and they do have uh, the labels for right and left on the inside. All right, guys. And as we look at the padding on the headband here, this it is an ample amount of it. So with that, it, you don't get any head fatigue. Like I said earlier, I have worn these during ga long gaming sessions as well as editing as I'm doing right now and I've had zero head fatigue because of the good amount of padding that's on this headband as well as these being pl full, almost fully plastic they're really light so you, I, you don't really feel them on your head. Alright guys so this is what comes in the box you get the commuting cable with the 3.5 millimeter jack for your phone so it has pause stop and volume control and the proprietary connector as well as the cord in the middle which is the quarter inch jack and the proprietary locking mechanism as well and then the beautiful headphones there's nothing else in the box not even a manual all right guys so these headphones they do offer a flatter sound frequency so they're great for studio use and if you want accurate sound reproduction as well as they aren't really made for bass heads, so kind of stay away from these. They are also a good sounding pair of closed back headphones. So with that, they do have a very different sound stage compared to an open back headphone. So there is slightly more bass and passive noise canceling as well. They are well balanced in their bass reproduction. But people like me that do have glasses that you're going to experience maybe a little bit less bass because of the seal is not completely sealed around your head, or if you have long hair as well. 
The mid-range and treble range are also well reproduced. The vocals and leads may sound a little bit forward, but on the other hand, they don't sound as open or immersive soundstage as an open back version, but they do sound great on the day to day and for overall use. Isolation is decent from your day to day being passive closed back headphones. They don't block out too much lower end noise, but do well in the mid range and high range. What is going on guys? Benny here. Um, I hope you guys liked my review of these awesome headphones, the HD 598 CS. Uh, with this, uh, again, these are my day-to-day -day headphones, so I do use these with my phone, my PC. Uh, when I am using them through my PC, though, I do use them through a DAC, so my Scarlett 2i2. Uh, that just helps boost the volume of it, so then it can be at a higher volume, because with them, they're not meant to go super loud, but they can go very loud. Uh, also, uh, they're, I use them to watch movies on my computer, as well as listen to music. And I do emulate that really well. Um, how can I, what else? Uh, again, if you do listen to like heavy hip hop or heavy electronic music, these may not be for you because you don't feel the bass very much, but you do hear it very clearly. Um, and the, the tone of it does emulate very well of what the exact um, sound that they should be pushing out. Uh, but with that too, currently, uh, these headphones are going for $148 and some change on Amazon. Uh, I did get mine on Black Friday, not last year, but the year before, and they, they went for 100 bucks. So remember to look on Amazon uh, on Black Friday sales for any of the Amazon choices. But again, guys, thank you for joining me in this review, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Remember, like, subscribe, dislike, comment. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Later.